Yo, 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 what is up, guys? And welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, I'm bringing you the product that I, one of the products I have been most looking forward to this year. And probably the one of the most uh, hyped or just biggest product releases of the year in the soccer card calendar. It is 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar Prism. Variety of reasons this is a big release. It released World Cup Prism only every four years because there's only a World Cup every four years. And this is fun because this is the first time we're getting it in a blaster format. Now, we've had retail before. We've had hanger boxes at 2014 World Cup. And in 2018, we had, like, the cello hanger packs. Um, this year, I don't know if we're going to have any of those, but we had blasters. Managed to find these three at Walmart. At Walmart, they retail for $34.90 something, 98 something along those lines. Um, Target, they're probably going to be looking at $29.99. So what you can find is autographs, blaster, blaster exclusive, green wave, purple wave, and gold power. So the purple wave I know are numbered. I forget to what. I didn't look that up. I apologize in advance for that. Green wave are non-numbered, your normal prism retail. And the gold power prisms are numbered to one. They kind of look like gold vinyl. Uh, that'd be the best way to describe them. And uh, they also did this in prism Premier League. Um, this this uh, The gold power prisms used to actually be the number to five variant. But they switched that to the number being numbered to one and the green to number to five, which green is number to five usually in most other products anyway. And they also you have you can get all the case hits in the blasters. So let me just slice this off so you guys can get a look. So you can get case hits out of the blasters, which means I imagine it'll be hard. Same thing with getting autographs or number cards, because I imagine they produce so many of these. But you can see here, as you can get, you can get the national landmarks, you can get the mangas, or manga, manga, whatever the heck, um, national prize, and color wheels. So those are all short printed. So I think that kind of devalues, depending on how many of these they produce, which is probably a lot, I think that devalues the hobby a lot, because... These inserts, I feel like, used to be a lot rarer. Like, it would literally be one of these inserts per case. Now it's one of these inserts per case, but there's, you know, four case hits in a case, almost. Like, yeah, and so it'll be interesting to see if we can get any of these in these blasters. I haven't seen a ton opened up. I've seen one video on, on a guy opening them. Uh, he opened three, didn't really get anything. So, uh, yeah, we, as you can see, we can get signatures uh prisms green wave international ink green wave dual signatures green wave so yeah so let's get into it six p packs per box four cards per pack for total 24 cards per box it's not a lot not a lot but yeah let's just get straight into it i'm excited finally world cup so, let's take a look at the design here's kevin de bruyne I like this design. I like it a lot. Kind of reminds me of the last World Cup prism. Kazari. We got a silver prism of Alfonso Davies and a Christian Pulisic. So this is interesting. Uh, they make silver prisms pretty rare, uh, pretty not rare in these blasters. But it actually, they're only one per hobby box. So I bet you this will kill their prices. All right. All right, Frank De Jong. We got a insert of Christian Pulisic. The uh, what is this called? The phenomenon inserts. These look really nice. I like these, especially the colored parallels of them. Um, just a base insert, but we'll sleeve it up. Why not? You know what? We'll do inserts here, and we'll do like anything colored over there. So obviously, what you're hoping for is a uh, sh like a case hit or an autograph or a numbered card. The the goal, the end goal, the perfect thing you could get is a gold power prism. But uh, that would be, that's probably going to be almost possible to get. So here we go. We got a green wave of Joachim Anderson for Denmark. This is what the green wave will look like. They're not numbered. It'll just be prism. These are probably retail exclusive. Um, yeah, the scenery is not looking great. I'm not a huge, like... I'm not going to knock the product. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, it's just entering. But, you know, if, if you're if you're a grader type guy, because I'm not. I don't really grade my uh, sports cards, too many of them. 
I have graded in the past, but not a lot. But if you're a grader, this might not be a great one for you. Here we go. We got Connections, DePaul, and Paredes. Speaking of, they lost today 2-1 to one to Saudi Arabia. Oh, man, that must be embarrassing. But, hey, I know all about bad uh, playing a bad game. I mean, I support America, so. Uh, Bijlo for the Netherlands. Yeah, so that, I will say this. I think it was, it's like you're up 1-0. Um, we're in the 80th minute. We're getting late 70s, early 80s. But you only need to hold out 10 minutes. Don't do anything stupid in the box. Um, and what did, what did America do? We did something stupid in the box. Here we go. We got a scorer's club with Vincent Bubakar. So, yeah, that's frustrating. Um frustrating the guy is uh wasn't ream ream to had to play a really well game actually it was uh the mls center back yeah imagine that but um yeah i don't know wills are a good team i'm not I'm not discounting them and their the effort that they showed in that game but the first half we should have put the game away and Eh, we just couldn't do it. Suarez scores club. So, as you can see, these blasters are probably going to be hard to get anything good out of. So, just keep that in mind when you're, especially if you're paying resale. If you're paying, like, 50 bucks for a blaster, like, just go out and, like, unless you can't afford a hobby, I would go out and just buy a hobby. Um, which, that's a waste of money, too. Speaking of scores, Timothy Wea. But, yeah, there's, I mean, I'm just being honest. Buying sports cards in this day and age and hoping to get a good hit is basically a waste of money. So, there's really no good way to do it. Paredes. We got Hassan. We have a new era of Diogo Costa. Goalkeeper for Portugal. Um, honestly, I, th I have uh, Brazil winning this tournament. I think France looked good, but I think they have another number of key injuries, and I just think the the winner's curse is going to come back to get them at some point. Um, Alfonso Davies, which is, I think that's the second Alfonso Davies I got. Yeah, that's not that weird. Well, might as well go for the rainbow then. Um, green wave there, nice looking card. Um, but yeah, I have uh, I have them winning at Brazil. If I had to bet money. I'm not a betting man. Um, Alvarez. This is his. Uh, quote unquote rookie card. It's one of his first cards for sure. So if he ends up doing anything. Definitely the big guys look out for this. In this product for it. I mean Alvarez. Yeah. Uh, he's going to command some money. But uh, Gakpo. Um, ooh we got a purple wave. No way. Real Mbolo, and that's to 99. There we go. Nice. So we got it. We did get a numbered card. So we end up getting a. This is what the purple waves look like, and they're numbered to 99. So ours was at the Swiss striker, Real Mbolo. Don't know where he plays. I remember he used to play at. Labor? No, no, not Labor Cruz. Uh, Brucey Munch and Gladbach. Mouthful, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Borussia Um, So right now, that's the hit of the thing. So that's kind of nice. It's good to see. So you can hit numbered cards. This is proof. It's 99. Brio and Bolo. So that's nice. So that is a nice added touch. I'm glad they didn't totally water down the blasters. But, I mean, there's 300 base card sets. So who knows how hard it will be to hit these um things uh the the, the numbered cards uh well obviously i'm um, kind of going back to what i was saying there's some good players you can get in here so if you hit a if you hit that uh a purple for one of those guys uh you're gonna be sitting pretty for you know spending 30 or 35 bucks i wish i could have gotten these at target but i just happened to be in walmart when the mj holdings guy was there um which is like the first time I've seen anybody in months, and it wasn't the normal person; it was a dude instead of a lady. Um, which I don't, I don't do the whole stocking MJ holdings anymore, because partly because the resale, 
business is sort of dead. So anything I want, which is soccer, which is not popular in my area, I can just go out and get. So it's really, I know that's not the case everywhere. Um, obviously in places like California, this stuff's going to be hard to find in the wild. Other places, big big cities, uh, coast the coast, uh, Chicago, places where soccer is much bigger than um, good old middle of nowhere, southern Illinois, um, as moon. Uh, we got a new era of Reese James, who unfortunately is not at this World Cup due to injury. So we got a silver, one of the new eras. So that's cool. I think I'll put that over there. It's technically an insert, but it's a parallel. Um, as we get through these packs, yeah, it'd be like, obviously, it's a perfect world if we hit a um, Grant Shotgun. If we hit a uh, Gold Power Prism, um, that'd be amazing. And that's going to be the pull in these blasters is you're going to be able to uh, get one of ones, which is it's a nice touch. I will give Panini that. They uh, didn't completely water it down, but at the same time, they didn't um, Global Reach Waturo Endo. Or Turu Endo. They didn't um, juice these things up, I don't think, by any means. And they kind of devalued the silvers in the hobby by um, how often you get them in here. I feel like. Blue Wave. Blue Wave. We got a Blue Wave. Oh, the 199. Oh. I didn't even notice that. Huh. Interesting. Blue Waves. Green wave, blue wave, pur prism purple wave. Gold. Okay, so there's two different types of numbered cards, not just one. Okay, so that makes more sense. I'm kind of, as you can see, I didn't do a ton of uh, research on the blasters beforehand. So I can't believe we did it, but we got pretty much two of the three types of numbered cards you can get. So we got the blue wave, which is to 199 for uh, Michael Ngadu. For Cameroon, I'm sure I butchered the name. Then we got a purple wave of Brill and Bolo to 99. This is definitely going to be the rarer of the two parallels. But um, that should tell you how many blasters they made if they made uh, everybody to 199 and put them in a blaster. You're not going to get one per blaster. So actually, I think we got pretty fortunate with these three blasters. I think we did pretty well. Um, but yeah, let's do a recap. So this is the... Uh, Amount of base you're gonna get. I didn't sort out rookies. I'm just not gonna do that. Um, and three boxes, which is six twenty eighteen packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inserts, all of different types and different kinds. Let me just, you know, what? I'm gonna sort them just here. Because this is going to... I just want to sort stuff. Alright, and then here's our parallels. Kind of split these up. Our parallels are a silver new era. Alfonso Davies, silver. We got a Granite Xhaka, silver. Uh, Contreras, Davies, Sheeb, Vigilo, and Anderson are our green waves. Once again, not numbered. Retail exclusive. And on to our other retail exclusive parallels. Last, the last card we pulled was is Michael Ngadu uh, to Blue Wave to 199 147-199. Sorry if you can't see it. I'm trying to show it where you can see the numbers. And finally, probably our best hit, but definitely the lowest numbered hit, is this Brill and Bolo to 99-72. Seventy-two of ninety-nine. So that's the purple wave. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, be on the lookout for more videos. I'm going to try to get more of this stuff. Um, hopefully to be able to make more videos on. Um, but I hope this is somewhat of a uh, uh, showing. This is somewhat of like an overview of like what you can expect to get. Um, our three blasters are pretty good. The fact that we got two number cards. I've seen another opening though where it's three blasters and nothing. So I would say probably somewhere in between or closer to that one. I probably probably got a little lucky, but you can get numbered cards. I have no idea how hard autographs are to pull. That would be an interesting t statistic. And I'd imagine that case hits, 
case hit uh inserts are probably one per blaster case which i think blasters are 20 blasters to a case it's either 20 or 40 so yeah you're going to be looking at spending a lot of money <laughs> 35 dollars a blaster to uh get one of those but yeah i think that should crash the hobby prices a little bit which will make them more affordable which is better overall so yeah if you live in america and you can get your hand on some of these go ahead they're really cool they're really nice um but be prepare to be disappointed it is panini but at the same time there's a high ceiling but a low floor it's just one of those products it's very broad very instead of like condensing it down kind of like merlin's nice because i mean this is what i put out of merlin blaster but like you're getting a numbered card per blaster um not the case here but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys have a great rest of the day hope you guys' teams uh win the world cup um i'm rooting for america of course we're totally not gonna win the world cup but you know hopefully we make it to the round 16 but i doubt that i'm, I'm a doubter I'm a doubter. Uh, what can I say? But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I hope you guys are able to find this stuff out in the wild. Um, I wouldn't pay crazy resale for this. Anything over 50 bucks is crazy. I wouldn't pay that. Even 50 bucks is kind of eh, 45 to 40, but that's basically retail on these. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. God bless.